Welcome back everybody. My name's Ricky, this is ETFW, and today we're gonna be exploring an abandoned girls Catholic school. This place is absolutely crazy. We got here about two hours ago, just kind of did a first little walkthrough, got our bearings of the place, took a bunch of awesome photos. If you wanna check those out, link to the Instagram will be down below. This place is pretty big. It's pretty freaking overgrown, it's pretty awesome. There is a bit of a rich history with this place, which I'll jump into in just a moment. I'm here today with Mr. Brendan Sutton. Again, if you guys haven't already checked him out, I'll put all these details in the description below. He'll be doing a more urbex walk around style video. But guys, before I jump into this video, I just wanna quickly say, Eugene, Come on, Eugene, what's going on, man? Look, Eugene, I heard you haven't subbed yet, and look, dude, I don't know, I don't know why, I don't know what the reason is, but look, man, you gotta join the community, join the family. Come on, Eugene, stop tripping, stop playing. Eugene, I want you to go down to the big red button, looks like this, I want you to hit the subscribe button, join ETFW, join the family, so many people have. And with that said, guys, let's jump into the video. Located somewhere in New South Wales, Australia, perched on top of a small overgrown hill, locked up behind a rusty, ornate gate, sits an old number of abandoned buildings. At a first glance, it is easy to think this site is something straight out of the apocalypse, with overgrown vines running up and down the walls, large trees which have grown out of hand, and buildings crumbling away to time. It sure does make a pretty awesome spot for the avid urban explorer, but what many fail to understand is the story behind this location. Allow me to begin. To preserve this location from any further damage, I will use an alias for this story. Craig Evans, a successful comic book artist and the creator behind a comic book series which follows the actions of a masked vigilante, was known as a rather unusual man, rather quiet and something of an introvert. Craig also ran a photographic studio and, in 1945, was hired to photograph five models in Sydney. Craig, who had somewhat became obsessed with his comic book characters, and in particular the killing they did, decided to use this job he was booked for and live in the shoes of his made up characters for the day. Craig had met the five models and took them into the forest where their photo shoot was booked. Although, instead, Craig pulled a gun and murdered all five ladies, Craig Evans was sentenced to death. Although, however, after convincing the justice system that he had found his way with God, he somehow only served seven years inside Goulburn's prison. Upon Craig's release, he began to work as a commercial artist. His neighbour at the time, Mrs Jane, who had no previous knowledge of Craig's past, saw him as a rather sweet young man. After befriending Mrs Jane, Craig convinced her to allow him to paint her 16-year-old daughter in a private sitting. During this time, Craig Evans brutally raped and murdered the young girl. After this, he fled in his car to a nearby girls' Catholic school. Armed with a gun and the adrenaline of already taking one person's life that day, he burst into one of the classrooms and attempted to hold the students and teacher as hostage. There was a struggle, and one of the teachers attempted to disarm and fight off Craig. However, during the struggle, Craig's gun went off, killing a 15-year-old girl in the process. Upon his capture, he was re-sentenced to life in jail. Craig Evans died recently after spending 50 years locked up behind bars. After the events of the murder took place, the school decided to close its doors and relocate to another facility, and in doing so, left the old site abandoned. This location is believed to be haunted, and those who have ventured in have recounted all sorts of strange phenomena. Upon hearing this story, I knew instantly I had to check it out. This is ETFW. Follow me as I explore. What you eating, man? What's that? What you eating? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, so in here is like a massive auditorium. Again, you can kind of just imagine like children singing, performing, kind of 
just on that stage behind me. It's just kind of crazy. All the seating's just above, but man, it's just absolutely crazy through here. This place is pretty big. And again, like I said, there is a bit of a dark history with this place as you guys saw in the history, but man, let's keep moving. Again, as you guys can see the grounds, this is where we're going to now, where all the main sort of classrooms were. Back there was the auditorium that we were just in. And then down in that building there, which you guys can't really see, that's kind of like a few more classrooms and things like that. But all the kind of really big classrooms and cool stuff is just down this way. Classrooms up here is just crazy. So, I'm gonna do a bit of an investigation in this classroom here. Again, I don't exactly know which classroom it was that the girl was shot killed. It could have been any of them, but our theory kind of is the driveway is just over this way. So thinking the guy would have drove all the way up and then these would have been one of the first classrooms he sort of saw. So it kind of makes sense if this was one of the rooms where it happened. <sighs> Let's jump into a dowsing rod session. Let's see if something's here with us. Alrighty. Alrighty guys, so gonna jump into an investigation. Again, we haven't felt anything weird as of yet, but we'll be kind of curious to see what we get. I don't know the girl's name, so again, that might not be something I get, but let's just see if there are any spirits here. From what I've heard, it does seem to be haunted here, but again, it could just be rumors. All right. If there are any spirits here with us tonight, my name's Ricky, I'm here with my friend Brendan. Just like to know your story, get to know you a little bit. If there are any spirits here, feel free to communicate with us. Don't be shy, don't be scared, we mean no harm. Again, we'd just like to know your story. If you're able to cross the rods in front of me, if there are any spirits here, if you're able to cross the rods in front of me, let me know you're here. Let me know you'd like to speak. Again, if there are any spirits here, are you able to cross the rods over in front of me? They're really hesitant. Again, don't be scared, don't be shy. We mean no harm. We'd just like to know your story. You got nothing to fear from us. I can feel you pushing on the rods. And if you can cross these rods, let us know you're here. So slow. And don't be scared, don't be shy. You've got nothing to fear from us. That's it, don't be scared. sweating I don't know if like my leg was like shaking bro literally oh, really? I just felt so heavy man yeah. like no sh my lower back I just felt like I had like two of my backpacks on yeah because my heart like, my leg was like shaking as well to the spirit that I'm communicating with thank you so much for crossing the rods I know you're quite hesitant it seems like you're quite shy but again you've got nothing to fear if you're a female are you able to move both rods to my left hand side Again, don't be shy. Move both these rods to my left if you're a female. It's a female. To the female spirit I'm communicating with. Did you die here? If you died here, are you able to widen both rods all the way back to my body? Make both rods widen all the way back to my body. Again, I mean you no harm. I'd just like to share your story, see if I can help you at all.
to the girl spirit I'm speaking to, were you the girl that was shot here? I know it was a tragic event. I know it was terrible what happened. I wouldn't wish it upon anyone. But I've got to ask, are you the girl from the story? If so, can you move both rods to my right hand side? Push both rods to my right. And I just want to tell you a story. So it's her. To the girl that I'm speaking to, again, I'm very sorry for what happened to you. Again, like I said, I wouldn't wish it upon anyone. It's an extremely sad story, but do you still linger here from those events? Is that the reason that you decide to stay here? If so, yeah, but across the rods in front of me. Are you stuck reliving that event? Is that why you can't move on? So are you able to cross these rods in front of me? Bro, my legs are like shaking, man. Yeah, I can see it. I've like never had it like this before. I feel so heavy. Dude, I can see your legs like shaking. Hey, I like can't I can't keep them straight. Am I able to ask you which which classroom the event happened in? Are we standing in the correct classroom? Is this room here where you were shot and killed? If so, are you able to push both rods to my left hand side? There's no way we picked up, there's no way it's the first room that we went to. That's weird. So it happened in here. To the girl that I'm speaking to, are you with us right now in this room? If so, are you able to point both of the rods to your direction? Are you close with us right now? Are you able to move both rods to your direction? Show us where you are. Bro, my back is killing me. It's killing you? Yeah. Like Dude, they're literally pointing right at you now. I can't even hold my back up properly. Dude, I was the same. Yeah. Like your lower back? No, my upper back is just like... What the <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, man, there's something in here, man. To the girl that I'm communicating to, we're both feeling this weight, this extra weight on us. Is that you drawing energy from us? Are you weighing us down? If so, are you able to cross the rods in front of me? To the girl that I'm speaking with, is there more than one spirit here? there's more than one spirit, are you able to cross these rods in front of me? Don't be shy. You have nothing to fear from us. Dude, she's so hesitant to answer. You okay? Yeah, my back is just f I don't know why, my shoulder, I can't hold this camera up. Swap arms. There's more than one spirit here. Holy sh To the girl I'm communicating with, is that spirit? Is that what's weighing us down? Is there an evil spirit here with us tonight? If so, can you move both rods to my left? Is that what's weighing us down? Move both rods to my left if that's right. Something else here. Dude, now I'm like absolutely like, bro, my back is killing me. Yeah. 
I haven't, I haven't felt sore like this entire day. Yeah, neither. It's just my collar on my upper back, bro. Oh, it's like a, um, it's, I think it's just like super fatigued. So it's like, I feel like it's going to cramp any second sort of thing. Yeah. Let me ask a couple more questions and I'll call it. To the girl we're communicating with, I do just want to say I'm, I am very sorry for what's happened to you and I do hope that you would be able to pass on peacefully. I'm sure your family and friends miss you. I'm sure there's much better places than this to, to rest. There's no place for a little girl to rest. I just got to ask, we're going to be here for the next little while. Are we safe in doing so? Is it this spirit that's weighing us down? Does it mean us harm? If it means us harm, are you able to cross these rods over in front of me? If we're safe to wander freely around here, are you able to cross, are you able to move the rods to my far right hand side? And we're safe. It's very hesitant. I think we'll be okay. Thank you very much. To both spirits that we just spoke to, again, thank you for communicating. We're gonna be here for the next while. Feel free to make any noises or interact with us in any way. Make any noises, sounds, move things. Again, we'd like to share your story. Know why you haunt this place, know why you linger here. And again, to the girl that was shot and killed here. Again, I, I am sorry for what happened to you and I hope you can find peace. Alrighty, let's keep walking around. Let's keep seeing if anything else is here. Let's do it. Leaving that room, guys, like, I don't know, I feel instantly a little bit lighter, but Brendan, yeah, you said. My back still killing me a little bit. All day I felt fine. Yeah. And then all of a sudden my other back was trying to like hunch me over. It was almost like I was getting a cramp. And it's weird because we've been here for like, what, two, three hours? Yeah. And we've been walking around and nothing. I nothing. haven't felt anything weird. No, I haven't heard any noises, nothing like that. And then no. all of a sudden my back just started going. I just find it weird, guys, that out of all the classrooms here, the one that we pick is the one that the girl said that it happened in. I don't know if it's like a sign or if it was just meant to be, but... It's very sad what happened. Anyways, we're going to keep showing you guys around this place, do a little bit more of a walkthrough, and we'll keep the video rolling. Alrighty guys, we're gonna get out of this place. I don't know what to feel. I don't know what to feel to be honest. Like, like I said, when we were in the classroom, almost the minute that I started using the dowsing rods, I don't know if the camera's gonna, you're gonna see it on the camera, but my legs were shaking. I've never felt that weighed down and that have heavy in an investigation before. Like, I don't know if something was trying to use my energy something's trying to weigh me down but but yeah it was crazy in there like I just felt so heavy so did Brendan um, the girl didn't seem like she was that talkative she seemed like she wanted to answer a few questions but I wasn't really getting the strongest response from her I wouldn't go as far to say if this place is or isn't haunted again from my short experience in there I don't know but I definitely love to come back here and do like a bit of an overnight. Yeah, I reckon you know? we should stay here overnight and listen to the sounds. Yeah. And have a bit of a walkthrough and do like a night video. Come here with like a few people. Yeah. Do some like murder in the dark or something. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, definitely come back here during the night, during yeah. the early morning of the hours and, and see if we hear anything, you know, yeah. 3 a.m. sort of type vibe. Yeah. If you guys want to see that video, make sure to give me a comment down below, leave a like for it. Let me know if that'd be something you guys would be interested in seeing. But yeah, with that said, we've got a couple more places to go check out. If you haven't already checked out Brennan, make sure to go check his stuff out. He's going to be posting a full walkthrough of this place with a lot more cinematics and B-roll. So if you're into that type of stuff, definitely check out his YouTube. It'll all be up there. Yep. What, a couple more. Weeks? Yeah, so I'll have probably have it up maybe next week. It'll be a GoPro on my head so you actually see the proper walkthrough like you're doing it. So Exactly. Cool. Alrighty, with that said guys, we're going to get the f***
gear. This place is definitely cool. It was definitely a fun explore, definitely up there with one of the cooler places I've explored. And yeah, love to come back here during the late hours of the night, see if we get anything else. But anyways, guys, I'll catch you in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.